Katya to solve. Katya's granddaughter of Sophia and Anton. Katya set out for full sense to make sure that Anton understood Sophia's true feelings and reasons for leaving. Fulton Station. The hallucinogenic gas present in Fulton's is there, cause Leighton and the others to imagine the station as it was in the many photographs lining the corridor leading, it, leading out of the building. But you and I are betrothed. How can you just leave me here? I won't have it. And this is a flashback. This whole town is cursed. If we remain here, all those dear to me will die. Am I not dear to you, Sophia? Stay with me, and we'll rebuild full sense together. I'm sorry, Anton, but there's someone else I love who needs me even more than you. Oh, that's their child? Is that the real reason you want to go? Because there's someone else? You should have, she should have explained that, like, in further detail if that's the case. Expelled it out for him, but... I trusted Sophia, and she left me for another. Is that, oh, is Kathy gonna say that now? You've got it all wrong, Grandfather. She never betrayed you. Or did he just, like, is he misremembering, like, making that up? What? So that's good The other she was talking about was the little life growing inside her. Yeah, okay. The life you two created together. They do spell that out. <laughs> no. That can't be. I'm sorry, Anton, but there's someone else I love who needs me even more than you. I never knew. Sophia was... That's right. Grandmother was carrying my mother, and she left Fulsense to keep her safe. And that's so she's found a drop stone? She kept the baby a secret to avoid causing you more pain. I mean, I guess that part was almost spelled out, but I guess that kind of makes sense, like... I've been so wrong. I don't know what kind of guy Anton was. That could be a thing you'd have to do. Grandmother passed away last year, but she was always talking about you, even toward the end. She never stopped loving you. Vampire. Anton invented the whole vampire scheme to scare off those who would try to loot the herds in fortune. He did by whisking away all those who came to close to the castle and setting them free to run away once properly scared. I'm guessing we're getting this information on like the information on Katya off screen. Sophia is dead? No, it can't be. I've had enough of your lies! Oh. No. Grandfather, no! Bring the chandelier. Uh, I guess we must leave now. The whole place is starting to crumble. It's old, it hasn't had proper me. maintenance. What's this? What's happening? Huh? Come on, grandfather, we have to get out of here. Be careful. It's gonna fall between them. How come Luke always gets separated from Leighton in these scenes? I guess they gotta shoo him out before like he's in too much danger. Oh, never mind. He's right there. He's fast. He's the fastest runner somehow, I guess. Don't worry about it. They gotta position everyone for the shot. Form, I guess. All right, because it collapsed. Now the vein isn't gassing them anymore. It seems I've found the answers I was searching for. 
Here, allow me to return this to you. Thank you. So, the box wasn't cursed after all. No, Luke. There's no curse to be found here. But if I were to guess, I suspect you'd find traces of that gas in the ore used to make this box. The same fumes that drove the town to ruin were released upon each person who opened the box. I, I mean, I guess that makes kind of sense. Those who opened the box expected death, and in doing so, fulfilled their own grim predictions. Like, you gotta, gotta go along with this to some extent, but if that's... I find that satisfactory enough. I suppose it was just an ordinary box, then. No, there's one last puzzle. Oh, I assure you, it's far from ordinary. This box was crafted to hold the words of my heart. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I remember this last puzzle. The box contains a hidden message, one meant only for Sophia. Many years ago, I asked a traveler passing through town to deliver it to her. Unfortunately, the box's value made it a target for those hungry for wealth. And so it was stolen again and again, thus perpetuating the whole chain of sad events. So the siren going off, so I'm gonna skip forward a minute. I gotta do something here anyways. Alright, sorry about that. But we checked the box. It was as empty as could be. Or was it, Luke? Ah, well that's because there's actually a second way to open it. Which we're gonna have to do. The sun rises when you and I meet. And when the wind blows, you will know my heart. These old words are the key to understanding this box and what it means. Do you follow, boy? I think so. Let me give it a shot. Yeah. The sun rises oh. when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. Huh. All right. 138, illusion box, 60 pick rats. The sun rises when you and I meet, and when the wind blows, you will know my heart. Oh, okay, there might be a problem here. We'll have to figure something out in a second, but... These words are the key to opening the illusion box. It's up to you to find a way to open the box and solve the final puzzle of our story. So, you gotta, like, you... That's the meeting, that's the sun rising. I don't know how to do the uh, mic. Uh, I'm one second, I have to figure something out here. Okay, so you have to blow into the um, mic now, is when the wind blows, I think. So I should have been able to then... The game audio is suspiciously a lot more quiet now all of a sudden. But I should be able to... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Okay, I rigged up a hotkey to um, do that for me, do the sound for me. Wonderful. What was the message that Anton left his sweetheart all those years ago? The time has come to find out. If you had a physical DS, you'd have to blow into the mic at that point is the implication. That is something we get. I did it. <laughs> oh. What's the matter? This isn't the letter I wrote. This is Sophia's handwriting. Oh, that's. I guess you got it. The box must have made it to her after <laughs> all. Oh, sorry. Once again, I'm doing that and falling into the same trap. But this is sweet. My dear Anton. Are you well? I received your letter. Though I'd like nothing more than to see you again, I'm afraid I no longer have the strength to do so. You don't know how many times I've thought about you over the years. I often wonder if you hate me for what I did. Do you? When I decided to leave, I was carrying our child. I couldn't bear exposing that tiny life to such danger. I knew your father's position and understood you didn't have the option to leave with me. 
Even though I did the only thing I could, I'll always regret leaving you that way. But there's one bright spot in this sad story, and that is our lovely granddaughter, Katya. My departure all those years ago has given you the chance to meet. Katya's mother died shortly after she was born, but Katya grew up strong and sweet just the same. She reminds me of you every time she smiles. With her around, I could never forget about you, even if I wanted to. You've been in my thoughts since the day we parted. And now, though my time here is drawing to a close, I like to think we'll meet again on the other side. The thought of seeing your face warms my heart. Be well and be happy, my dear Anton. Goodbye. But just for now. Your Sophia. Oh, Sophia. I finally understand now. All right, Elysian Box. It turns out the Elysian Box was crafted 50 years ago to carry a letter from Anton to his love, Sophia. A gas present and the material used to make the box causes hallucinations since those who open it. These visions are how the rumors of a curse began. Grandfather. Hmm. Grandfather? Yes, that's right. It has a nice ring to it. <laughs> I am so happy we met my dear granddaughter. You don't know how much this means to me. <laughs> They're just there awkwardly. It's been so long. So very long, in fact, I had forgotten what love even felt like. Instead, my love for Sophia was replaced by anger, and that anger completely blinded me. But now I can see the world clearly again, thanks to you, my granddaughter. <sighs> Are you listening, Sophia? I'll have to put off returning to your side for a while. There's someone I need to get to know here first. Will you forgive me for making you wait just a little longer, my dear? Wherever she is, I'm sure she's very happy for us. <laughs> mm. All right, well. I didn't expect to be ending off today. That's one thing I'll say. I'm gonna be kinda unprepared in my closing remarks. Oh, I've gotta go pick up Flora too. She's been I guess See ya, bye. I guess it's only been like a day in in universe, but still. Is that, and that was the tale oh. of the Elysian box, a relic feared for the fatal curse it was said to carry. But when all was said and done, there was no curse sleeping under its gilded lid. Instead, the box was revealed for what it truly was. A vessel created to carry the love of two kindred spirits through all of time. While terror brought the box its notoriety, in the end, its most powerful message was one of love. Alright, and the credits, like I said, I didn't expect to um, end this today, so I'm kind of unprepared on my closing thoughts. Um, yeah, really good and amazing. I remember, I remember why I cried to this when I was a kid. I'm, I'm older now, I both know what was coming and like I'm a bit um stronger more calloused emotionally but yeah wow 
That was good. Very good game. Very fun. One thing I'm concerned about, which I'm pretty sure I know the answer to, but we'll see for sure. Because I didn't finish some, so like I didn't do all the- there's some puzzles I missed, I'm pretty sure, and I didn't get all the camera stuff done. I mean, the cameras gives you puzzles, so that- there's definitely some of both I missed. I think this game has like a mode that helps you with that, which we'll see. I don't know how to explain it, but hopefully they'll show it in a minute. But yeah, okay. This is, um, really good game. The art style... Like, I was a bit critical in the first game of the art style. I did feel a bit more natural here, but I think I just kind of misremembered how flexible the art style is here. I felt more natural overall. I'm just thinking, like, it felt good here, but I think retroactively, Curious Village was better in that respect than I thought it was at the moment. But yeah, as always, I don't know what to say. Great gameplay. Great story. Like, Curious Village had a good story, but it was kind of, um... Maybe it wasn't that straightforward. It wasn't as emotional, I think, as, like, every other game in the series is, so... It's nice to get the first one that actually, like, really, really lands emotionally, at least for me. So I was really excited. I'm really happy about that. And I'm excited for the next one. You won't... It's gonna be a long time before you play that, too, of course, but... Yeah, I don't know what was up with the cabaret or what what was that called? I don't know what to call it, but that's right. I'm I'm looking at the pictures on the side and reacting occasionally. But yeah, music. I don't know if I just like didn't notice the music in the first game as much, but music here definitely was like noteworthy and being good. Like the music's always good. It just I was more cognizant of it in this one. Gameplay, like I said. It's very simple. They, like, the niche of this gameplay, for what it is, is about, like, as good as you can get with the Professor Layton series. They picked, like, a gameplay loop that, like, I mean, like, it's about as good of a formula for a puzzle game with genre as you can get, in my opinion, without being, like, something that expects, like, mastery, mechanical mastery of, like, certain... Elements like Tetris. Is Tetris considered a puzzle game or is that a different genre and I'm just conflating them? But like for just like a generic puzzle game, like a game with like generic, not a game that's generic with puzzle, but like a, a game with like a diverse puzzle. I think this is about as good as you could possibly package it. Story, like I said, the story really works well. Good. I'm kind of talking in circles, I always do in these, but I don't know what else to say. There's, there's more sweet moments. You see Luke's even crying. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, um, I'm very happy I played this. There's a bunch of post-game stuff we'll have to get to, like I briefly alluded to before, so... I like how Luke's the only one in Barton, I mean, Barton's not too out of it, but looks like I'm, like, explicitly really into the, the tunes. I guess because he's younger and more into it. Yeah, Bad Animals is right, looking at the corner there. But, yeah, so I don't know how long the post-game will take. There's a little more than there was in the first game with, like, the um, tie-in stuff, like... We got a code at the end of the first game. I'm pretty sure you can plug that in to this one. I don't remember what the code was offhand, so I'm gonna have to look that up, but... Yeah, that's all stuff we'll see coming up here. Glad to see Flora is still alive. That was kind of a concern. <laughs> uh, they, like, even just the little bonus fun uh, drawings they have on the edge on the, uh... Toss me the cards are going by are so well done. Like, look at this. This is this is great stuff here. I might have to split this up. Like, I'm looking at the recording time. It's 40 minutes. I wouldn't have waited this long to record if I knew it was going to be this long. But it's it's fine. Yeah. So who all who all is a real in Dropstone? Like Pablo, I guess was technically real on that. 
but I and um obviously Chomi is real. But aside from that, like Come look at this article, you two. Oh, I forgot huh? there's a Marvel post credits sequence. Credits. Miracle Rescue saves beloved academic. So the doctor's alive after all. Hmm. We'll visit him as soon as we return. Hmm. Oh, but that I might like conflict that. with the symposium you have scheduled in London tomorrow. Well then, I'll simply have to cancel. Huh? After all, Luke, one must always show gratitude to one's teachers. That's what a gentleman does. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thought. It's nice to just like add one little extra note of sweetness to it. To the story by not having Dr. Schrader actually died. I wonder what he saw though. But yeah, alright. I... Okay, let's see. Do they give us a thing? Oh, and then a teaser for the Unbound Future. That is very exciting. We'll get to see that in a long time, but... I hope you enjoyed Priscilla and Diabolical Box. I sure did. They have reached the end of the story. The fun is just beginning. I think that you solved 115, 115 puzzles before beating the game. Very impressive solving. The story mode of this game contains 138 puzzles in total. Alright. That was... so 23 missing? If you haven't solved them all, all of them already, try to find and complete them all. Also, check the bonuses section where you can unlock more content by fulfilling certain criteria. If you lock enough stuff, you might even find some new and challenging puzzles. Have a great time playing through the rest of the Professor in the Diabolical Box. Late in challenges, a sweetheart's house has been added to your map. Okay, yeah, th this is the mode I was trying to talk about before. Since you've come to the end of the story, your game will now save. When you continue this game, you will resume play inside Herzen Castle just before fighting Anton. From there, you're free to return to town and hunt after items and puzzles you missed. Yes, okay, I'm, that is what I'm talking about. That's how we will be able to get us a little golden light in there to let us know. And that's how we'll be able to continue. I might have to split this into two, because it is uh, very much longer than I aim for, but that's uh, how it goes sometimes. And yeah, next time look forward to a cleanup video and then some post game, I guess. I'm so glad I decided to play this again. Did I get this game when it came out? I just realized it came out in 2009. Was I really like that young when you played this for the first time? That's, that's crazy. I, okay. Sorry, I, my brain just kicked into gear there for a second. Don't worry about that. Uh, thank you for watching as always, and look forward to what's coming up here, hopefully. I said I usually end with the sign-off. It doesn't matter, it's fine.